travelling deeper down the Buckland Valley, we came across this little cemetery next to a farmhouse. And so we explored that and we discovered a little bit of our not so famous history in that graveyard. Hi to all the people who are watching our blog. This um, trip into the Buckland Valley has been an eye opener to me for our, our Australian history. I'm standing by a memorial stone that's in memory to all the Chinese miners who were killed in the riots and the massacre in the uh, 1850s. The European miners set upon them and tried to chase them out and some were killed. And it just um, makes my heart ache to think that our European settlers um, were a bit greedy. So it's a lovely memory that the Chinese have here. On our excursions the day before, we had come across this wonderful Chinese memorial bridge at Wandilagong to commemorate the Chinese diggings and the Chinese mining, gold mining, that took place in that area uh, back in the 1800s. But it was not until we came to the Buckland Bridge picnic area did we read about the, the riots, uh, the, the massacre, and the history of the Chinese problems they had with racist Europeans. Then we also learned about the outbreak of typhoid in the summer of 1853 that killed many, many of the miners in the valley. I'm standing in the Buckland Valley, which is a valley that is in the shadow of Mount Buffalo, and behind me, Mount Hotham. And it's a wonderful valley that's very rich in diggings of gold that was done back in the 1850s, 53. But they called this valley after 1854, the Valley of the Shadow of Death. And that was because many, many miners and their families died with, with what they called valley fever, which was really a, a typhoid type disease that spread through the miners who weren't using a very sanitary water and the, the, the muddy water where they were doing their gold was also their sewer and, and a lot of people became very ill and died. So they called this magnificent valley uh, the valley of the shadow of death. So here am I now looking at some of the more modern graves. Uh, this one was uh, 1898. William Batt was killed by a fall of earth in the Farley's Creek Mine, erected by his fellow workmen, a beautiful steel uh, crucifix cross. And, uh, and so it is around here that a lot of people died in the valley trying to make their fortune. Uh, there are modern graves around here as well. Here's one, Thomas Burton Ward, uh, aged 48 years, died a young man. Uh, but Pauline and I have been down here having a wonderful day. We actually took a mountain track to nearly to the top of uh, Mount uh, Buffalo this morning, but we were turned back by a falling tree. We've had a, a great day out today in the Buckland Valley. So, I don't think it's the valley of, valley of death now, but yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for I know my God is with me. His rod and his staff will comfort me. 